yo, apaya mi ni yo, apaya mi ni yo, apaya mi ni yo, o shupa to ya lo ke tete, apaya mi ni, apaya mi ni, o shupa to ya lo ke tete. A large heart of a man is not scored by his amassed wealth, but by his unwavering interest in the growth and development of his people. Such description fits the man, Senator Michael Opayemi Bamidili, popularly called MLB, the senator representing Ekiti Central Senatorial District in Ekiti State, and the Chairman Senate Committee on Judiciary human rights and legal matters. Doing his empowerment and the third in its series but this mega empowerment program 2022 to make his people enjoy the real dividends of democracy and to enable them to be self-reliant is a judge to be the biggest empowerment program ever recorded in his constituency and the state at large by plowing back to his people who gave him the mandate. Oh, a bajor, a Oh, a shep, a nile, yeah. Hey, yo, la, wa, ti, da, ra, o. A, wa, e, ki, ti, a, ti, ba, ra, po. Ka, pa, ra, po, ka, tu, pa, nu, po. A, wa, e, ki, ti, a, ti, ko, mi, ni, ra, o, ko. La, wa, she. E, ki, ti, e, ki, ti, ti, bo, mi, ni, ra. E, ki, ti, e, ki, ti, ti, bo, mi, ni, ra. Awa ekiti iwa jula o malo la gbara o loru awa ekiti okon so so mani wa o on the third day of may 2022 history was made to oluyemi kaode stadium at duekiti to witness yet another milestone and epoch making event by this sterling and large hearted politician and distinguished senator of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Michael Okweyemi Bamidele, MOB. It began with the presence of God as prayers were offered by the representative of Chief Imam. <laughs> Wala ti da mu leyin Olorun ni je o kan won ibi giga 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 ni ko lo ma gboro won si This was followed by the opening remarks of the chairman of the occasion the first elected and former executive governor of Ekiti state and the current serving minister of the federal ministry of trade and investment Otumbaniya Debayo Inu mi je dupe bo wa bi leni tori igan ti bo foju ara bi ri bi to ba je pe won ro yen fun mi Iroyoletafuju eh ina le ma ran wa lo ti ibi ise ta ba fe se pupo nuwa imi nuwa a lo ko di pada wale sugbo inu mi dun be senator wa o lo o le wa leni lati fore han olorun a ma wa pelu e o nitori na bo fi atiko yi bo fi declare event yi Open. This Mega Empowerment Program 2022, as you can see from your screen, speaks for itself with the array of life-changing items awaiting to be distributed to his people who are artisans, trade union members, market men and women, widows and students for their bursary, not forgetting people with disabilities and the indigents of the society. Distinguished Senator Michael Opeyemi Bamidele popularly called MLB, the man of the moment, began by appreciating God and his constituents for making this mega empowerment program 2022 a reality and speaks further on the drive behind this idea. Today's occasion is programmed to serve three purposes. The first purpose 
is to thank you, my good people in Ekiti Central Senatorial District, for giving me the mandate to serve and for affording me the opportunity to represent you at the Ninth Senate of the National Assembly. In spite of my passion for service and inclination towards the progress and development of my people, it is quite obvious that my personal resources will not have been able or be enough to deliver these dividends of democracy. But your mandate and continued support gave me the leverage to make you proud today. Secondly, in line with my usual style, right from when I got elected into the House of Representatives, today's event also is to explore in reeling out my account of stewardship to the delights of my constituents. Following the inauguration of the Ninth Senate, I embarked on a fact-finding tour of the five local government areas in the Central Senatorial District, and I realized the expectations were high and the challenges enormous. But today, by the special grace of God, we have kept the good faith, we have stayed focused, on our avowed goals, and our scorecard so far has demonstrated that we remain committed to our electoral promises. To the glory of Almighty God, and by dint of your continued support and prayers, my election into the Ninth Senate has brought about a remarkable harvest of dividends of democracy such as the empowerment of over 5,000 constituents, including artisans, youth, women, and the physically challenged between 2019 and November 2021. Sponsorship of numerous motions and bills, including the bill for the establishment of the Federal University of Medical and Environmental Sciences in Iyekiti. The construction of a mega digital library in Adoekiti, the distribution and installation of over 50 500 kVA transformers at different locations within Ekiti Central, the sinking of over 40 motorized and water articulation boreholes, the installation of solar power street lights across the five local government areas in Ekiti Central Senatorial District. Securing of employment to over 80 youth job applicants and over 300 NPower graduate applicants. The provision of palliatives during the COVID-19 pandemic as well as the distribution of Idel Fitri, Idel Kabir and Christmas gifts during the Yuletide respectively to mention just a few. Thirdly, I am glad to inform you that part of the programs lined up for today's occasion is the distribution of work equipment, such as pepper grinding machines, cassava grinding machines, block molding machines, hair dryers, transport vehicles, tricycles, motorcycles, ambulances, ventilators, financial gifts as business startup support, and a host of other dividends of democracy, which are capable of adding values to our people, thereby transforming their lives and changing their living conditions. Finally, ladies and gentlemen, I will also be seizing this opportunity to seek for your continued support, encouragement, and prayers to enable us to do more and to further raise the bar in legislative representation and infrastructural and community development in the Kitty Central Senatorial District and beyond. His fellow lawmaker at the National Assembly of the Green Chair Chambers, Honorable Fatoba Olushala, a member representing Ekiti Central Constituency, in his message of support, has this to say. I'm here today to support my senators, Senator Payamimba Midele, on his uh, empowerment programs. You know, he's giving back uh, to his uh, people 
are the son of our duties. As a legislator, you facilitate, you bring back a lot of developmental projects, uh, permit uh, materials to support your people for their life to be elevated and for them to benefit the dividend of democracy. So that is the program that is ongoing today. As you can see, you can see the whole, uh, the whole field now is filled up with all sorts of materials. And it is the party people and the people within the territorial districts. Both party members and non-party members are the ones that are going to benefit all this uh, uh, material you are looking at. With, I thank God for his life and I pray that God should give him strength to do many more of this. The Royal Father of the Day, His Royal Majesty, Obadiola Adeniya Jakaye, the Oyinyosaye III, Oluyi of Inyekiti, with his words of wisdom for one of his sons. We are here to see what Senator Okwayemi Michael Okoyemi Bamidele is doing in terms of uh, dividend of democracy. is here to empower his constituents, to show appreciation to what he has been doing and to show appreciation for their support. So, and it cuts across strata's of life, from a Greek to artisan to petty trading, cash empowerment, uh, pepper grinding, to the Okada people, to the tricycle people. It's just to show appreciation and to ensure that people can enjoy some dividend of democracy. And this is apart from what he has done in terms of providing transformers to all the center, uh, his constituents, providing borehole, motorized borehole to his constituents, and uh, training. He has done a lot of training to entrepreneurs from a Greek, from fishery to pigry, and this is just uh, for him and for the people to appreciate, so that next time they can see continue to vote for him. The items distributed to institutions and people who were carefully selected from various local governments in the state, across party lines, religious platforms, cooperative groups, unions and to individuals who are low-income earners includes one Nigeria's built Innocent Hilux vehicle, two well-equipped ambulances, two ventilators, one tractor, mini buses, tricycles, generators, wheelchairs, vulcanizing machines, water pumps, sewing machines, grinding machines, modern farming implements, fertilizers, building block making machines, unisex hairdressing gadgets, and motorcycles for commercial purposes, among other cash donations of various figures to improve the welfare and lives of his people. Abounding testimonies from the beneficiaries across board speaks of the heartwarming joy of the people and institutions that got something to empower them. In the middle city, Michael Okpejemi Toche. In fact, I will call you a young I see what you learn to sell on your yewa. Need not your lad, but a lot in that. I see you learn to say. I beg me. If I told you, I see what you need. Ometo, Ometo, Omato, Tolas, Cotoja, I beg me. In fact, in Catamu, you say, you're not just surprising me. I drive me so long, you pay. Like by law, work at only pa, or law of Fusay. Like by law, I did my good cabba. Ni Agba along or ba. Ipototunjuele <laughs> Receiving the two ambulance buses and the two ventilators, the Chief Medical Director, Professor Kayode Olabanji, 
appreciated the singular effort of an individual in the person of MOB. This is a great feeling uh, because these are very useful uh, equipments as far as the hospital setup is concerned. Uh, this uh, uh, is one thing that is forever useful. Ventilators uh, is used to support life. Uh, it delivers oxygen. You know, oxygen is life. Life is oxygen. So when you have particularly ill patients, these, uh, uh, these equipments are very, very useful in sustaining their life and even resuscitating those people who are near to death. We cannot thank him enough. We appreciate him because he has been a worthy partner all along. He is always contacting us uh, and offering to even do more. So we appreciate him because what he has done now is not just for the benefit of one person. In fact, we don't know any of us here who can turn out to become a patient and we find these things useful. The Nigerian police was on ground to receive the Nigerian built Innocent Helox vehicle donated by Senator Michael Okpayemi Bamidele, MOB. On behalf of the Inspector General of Police and the Commissioner of Police, Ekiti State, we quite appreciate this kind gift. It will go a long way towards enhancing our operation in the state. Thanks and God bless. On tari lo ni, awa agbe o tiriri, a bakpa deri. Ande dokwe lo do lor nupe, e mo bila awa agbe lo ju. O de fi o ye ye wa, bakpa ju lo, om la na funwa, la ti le ma si she oko. Tori te katapila, e trato to gbe funwa, e no wa du si, bugwa awa agbe. La re di la ti ma abteli, ni biki bito ban lo, o si pezo kpe ke bima akpa wa, o lor an ama an lor wa. One of the party leaders and a coordinator of the activities of the program has this to say about MOB. What MOB is seen today, Senator Michael Opeyemi, I am not surprised. Because a free giver, a man with high integrity, you can't doubt his integrity. Since I joined politics, I've never seen this type of war of things in my life. This, this is very great. And nobody, I stand to be corrected, nobody that has ever represented the Kitty that has done what Opeyemi is doing today. Senator Opeyemi Bamidele, while speaking to newsmen, revealed so much about this laudable initiative. And for the record, uh, let me say that this is not the first empowerment uh, program that uh, I'm doing. I've made it an annual event in the last three years. Uh, it's just that this year uh, I am doing it uh, as a mega uh, project. Um, in the years past, especially the last three years, I organized training and empowerment programs separately and agricultural empowerment programs separately and different, different things. But this year we decided to put them together. More importantly, beyond also buying tools of trade for my constituents, I felt there was a need to do some uh, basic and fundamental things that would benefit uh, members of public, regardless of your religion or creed, uh, regardless of whether or not you are even a member of a political party. And that was why I decided to uh, identify five major areas. Uh, agriculture, uh, which was why I had to get um, the tractor uh, for the farmers cooperatives, as well as different uh, agricultural, um, you know, seedlings and equipment, farming equipment. In the area of uh, uh, security, uh, I also tried to get, you know, the, the patrol van uh, for state on my senatorial district as much as possible in the area commands there. Uh, and then some other security uh, gadgets for security agencies. And in the area of health, uh, we also felt that was important. Uh, it was not enough to buy, all, I mean, Okada and Tricycle and, um, you know, different things without ensuring that um, our teaching hospital is well equipped, especially 
the intensive care unit. Um, it's on record that uh, on the 1st of June 20, uh, 2018, I had a gunshot injury and I was rushed to the hospital. Uh, they had only one ventilator and uh, it was one they were managing. They managed to put me on that ventilator to be able to perform, um, I mean, the, the surgical operation, without which uh, I couldn't have lasted till the next day. Um, being flown abroad was because I had been stabilized. If the hospital was not in a place to do the initial operation and stabilize me, it would have been a, a different story uh, today. So that was why I felt there was a need to also concentrate on that area, um, especially because of the less privilege. You cannot afford to go anywhere other than here. So we got them two ventilators, um, and that was part of what uh, delayed even this uh, exercise, because we had to order them, and it took a while. Um, because of COVID-19 and how it ravaged the health system all over the world, the manufacturers of ventilators ran out of stock. And so it was a long wait, you know, for us to, to pay and, and wait for the uh, manufacturing. Eventually, they were imported into the country. So we gave two uh, to the teaching hospital and two ambulances, uh, also customized uh, to their needs. So my hope and prayer is that this makes a positive difference in the life of the beneficiaries. And by God's grace, we will do more. This lofty idea was put together to better the lots of his people and to reduce poverty in Ikiti Central Federal constituency. Definitely, more help is truly on the way.